So, how did I build this? Let's take a look. Dun -dun. So this is the main assembly, but this assembly is built using uh, these components. So we have this wall, okay, and then this wall itself is built from these columns. Alright, so let's look at the columns. So we have column one, which is built from these blocks. Okay, so that's column one, column two, and column three. Cool. Now, how do the blocks work? So let's look at this guy. So, well, looks like a cube, but is it really a cube? Well, let's turn off the modifiers. Uh huh. It's just a single plane. Okay, so this single plane is solidified, and then a subdivision operator is added, and then a displays modifier. This place is the this geometry. Okay. Um change this. Alright. So that's the magic. And the texture looks like this. It's a Voronoi texture with these settings. Okay, you can play with uh, different uh, parameters. Let's display the assembly for reference. So now you can see um, based on the changes here, everything changes because of collections and instances. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Right, so that's uh, block one. Block two is, is just a, a tapered block. So I'm using a simple deform modifier and taper uh, the cube built from the plane using Solidify. Yeah, as simple as that. Okay, and uh, you can see. It looks it looks different by changing the taper taper to a, to a stretch. Okay, how about we twist? Interesting. Taper stretch. How about block three? Block three is the same. But it has a non uniform scale applied. Okay, let me copy that value. So that's the normal block. What is the change here? And this is uh, after scale. Cool. So, using uh, these modifiers, we are able to build interesting uh, patterns. awesome so that's about it um hope you've enjoyed this quick show and tell i'm planning to do more like this to show how i am approaching my mini projects and experiments Just feel free to leave a comment um and until next time thanks